Captain Disillusion has been debunking viral hoaxes for like 16 years, which is a really long time. The first video of his was uploaded when I was 7 years old. He's been working far longer than I've really been cognizant of my own skills and ambitions. It's cool that he's still trucking along, but looking over his work, it feels like he's been struggling to find a way to adapt to changing times. Even by the time I found him in 2017, the viral internet hoax was already a bit of an outdated concept, and now... Well, online hoaxes are back with a vengeance, but it's within a very different field, to say the least. Captain Disillusion has noticed and joked about the growing repetitiveness of his debunks, and I get the feeling he doesn't think it's enough to just explain the VFX of a viral clip anymore. Like, there's a debunk, but now he tries to have a take of some kind too, some greater takeaway. And unfortunately, my opinion of Captain D is proportional to what percentage of the video was about visual effects. VFX Cool is great. The one where he just makes some cool music videos is excellent. The Gateway to Sedona debunk is agonizing. The only opinions I've ever seen uttered about this guy have just been slack-jawed onlookers amazed at his production value. It makes me feel like I'm going insane. But instead of talking about that, I want to talk about this one video, the one about the dancing phantoms. It's five minutes long. Most of it is just a quick rundown of all the combined features of the piece he's talking about. It's not a hoax, it's just a cool way to talk about both motion capture data and procedural animation in the same video. But the last entire minute of this video doesn't make any sense to me. I'm, I'm just gonna play it, and I need someone to tell me what he's trying to say. But it makes me wonder. If the dance motion capture is pre-made, and the sheet behavior is simulated, and each of these phantom clips is set to commercial pop songs, then what part of this is the actual art? Is it the shiny, colorful plastic? I guess the shiny, colorful sculptures of Jeff Koons are considered good art, and so are the infantile scribbles of Romero Brito. But Jeff Koons has been known to copy other creative works, and has been sued for it. And Brito sued others for copying his style. And that major laser video isn't a major laser video at all. It's an intro for an awards show made by Method Studios. And even though Kian Futuran is nowhere in the credits of this project, the stylistic similarities are striking. And guess which predates which. <laughs> the art world is terrible. I'm glad I'm on YouTube. I'm sorry. What? Why? Uh, first off, Captain D notes that the Dancing Phantoms clip used open source motion capture data, simulated cloth dynamics, and copyrighted music, and he bewilderingly takes this as cause to question if it counts as art, or if conceding that, that the art is just the character of the plastic. <laughs> the gumption on this man to just casually deny the subject of his analysis as being art? It's absurd, and within that claim, he denies the animator authorship over his work because the motion is simulated? What? W were the bounds of the simulation not decided by the author? What the fuck are you talking about? And then the segue into the bit about Jeff Koons. Like, he concedes that perhaps Kian can claim authorship over solely the color of the shiny plastic in his animations that he fucking authored, because, well, I guess Jeff Koons does sculptures that are made of not plastic, they're just shiny. Like, he, he, he sarcastically concedes that Jeff Koons' works are considered art, so maybe the shiny animations of Kian Furutan are... I... I can't. And, side note, what did Romero Brito do to deserve having his work described as infantile scribbles as an aside? What is the resemblance? It's not even scribbly. And then, dizzyingly, he doubles back again. Like, oh, Jeff Koons has been accused of copyright infringement in the past. So, what? Therefore, Kian's shiny simulated plastic animations are not art, after all? What is the butt doing in this sentence, Alan? This might be an uncharitable reading, but I feel like I have to go forward with the assumption that it's not supposed to make sense. Like, he's just saying shit to make it sound like he's rhetorically looping around to that bombshell that the major laser video he showed earlier was a ripoff of Kean's work. But... Hold on, just a second ago you were questioning the authorial legitimacy of his entire Instagram page. Like, what, are you offended that they ripped off the color of his fucking plastic? What are you trying to say? Am I going insane? Maybe. Thanks for watching.